Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, we are doing the dreaded lip declutter. I honestly have been avoiding this. I I am sick, so I've had good reason to avoid it. But <laughs> I thought, okay, I've got time right now. I am off work for the Christmas break. My son is sleeping, and let's just do it. Let's get it over with. So, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Usually I, I would go through all of my lipsticks, and then my lip glosses liquid lipsticks. I think what I want to do today is actually group all of the lip products of the same color together because I do think I have a lot of shades that are just too similar to each other and whether it's liquid lipstick or a lipstick or a lip gloss, I don't really care at this point. I want to condense my lip products and there's certainly ones in here that I just hold on to because I have an issue of letting go. <laughs> which I think we could all relate to, but I do want to, I want to cull some of this, but I also want to be mindful that, you know, I spent a lot of money on these over the years. Uh, nothing here was given to me, or, I mean, there might be a few that were somewhat decluttered to me from my mother, um, which is going to be mostly all the coral shades, and yeah, I just, I'm going to, first of all, I think I'm just going to group everything together in shades and then we will we will work through it like that all right i'm going to start with this category this took me far too long but this is mostly my nudes, my pinks, and my mauves, which is definitely the biggest category that I have. Um, looking at this, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, so I've got more like vibrant pinks over here. I've got more like lighter pinks over here. And then these are more of my mauves um, leaning a little bit more. Some of them are leaning a little bit reddish, but they're still sort of in this category. So... Um, yeah, I don't know where to start, to be honest. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I never use this, and I don't really enjoy it. It's the Essence Extreme Shine. Um, I just don't use products like this, and I, I picked it up because I was trying to, uh, you know, test out Essence, but, yeah, it's just not something that I want to keep, so that one is going to be decluttered. Um, I do like this NYX one. This is the NYX Buster Gloss in Creme Brulee but I definitely prefer the NYX um, Soft uh, Mattes, and this is in the shade Tokyo. This one is very light. It's like deceptively light, but I really do enjoy that. And then Creme Brulee is the lip gloss, and I think, I think I can have both in my collection. Yeah, this one's a little bit more peachy, so I'm gonna keep those. Are there any more NYX ones in here? I don't think so. Okay, so these two can stay. I thought this would be easier, but honestly, it's just made me more confused now. <laughs> um, I do like this one. This is the Ofra Long Lasting um, Liquid Lipstick. I do enjoy it. It's in the shade Nude Potion. And I really like the formula, so I'm going to be keeping this as well. I think it's a really nice nude. So that one is staying in. I also have this Huda Demi Matte. This is in the shade Feminist. And this one's not bad. It's a little bit darker, but still, yeah. I think I'm going to keep those two for sure. Got this melt one. This is in the shade Sydney. This is very light. Um, but it's a nice shade. It's a little bit more pink than I would like, but I think I will keep that one. I'm not a fan of this LA Girl. It's a very vibrant pink though, and I don't really have I don't really have anything else like it. So I don't know. I just don't know if I'm gonna use that. It is, it is literally bubblegum pink. It's like a Barbie pink. Um, it smells nice, actually. It smells kind of minty. It's in the, sh the shade Surge. I think I might keep that. And then this is very pink. This is from Nomad. And again, it's that bubblegum pink. <laughs> they are very similar. Obviously, one's a lipstick and one's a lip gloss. I think I might keep both of those just simply because they are good to have together. Um, yeah, I'm not doing very well. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is a lip balm. This is from Minnie's Ready Steady Selfie. I think I'll keep this because 
there's no need to get rid of it. Sorry, I'm like getting confused with where the camera is, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that. This Nivea, I'm gonna get rid of. I don't use it anymore. Um, actually, wait, there's so much of it. This is like a brand new one. No, uh, hold on, I'll keep this. Um, I didn't realize that was a brand new one. What don't I like? I might like everything in here, to be honest with you. It might be something. This is Caramel Kiss from Maybelline. Oh yeah, look at this. I'd be, I used to love this shade. Hmm. Do I love it though? The panner in me kind of wants to pan that because there's just so little left. Hmm. Go think about that one. I think I wanted to test out shades. So this is a Bax Factor Rosewood. Let me just look at this and compare it to this one. I feel like I should get rid of one of those. Right? This one looks a little bit nicer. Um, I might have some more that are very similar. Oh no, this is matte formula. This is the Friends from Revolution. It's the Monica. This is nice. They're like all the same shade. Hold on. Wait, do I have another one? This one, MCO Beauty in the shade Petal. I think this is very similar to. Yep. Okay, the more I look at this one, the more it's, I can see it's a lot more sheer. And I think I will get rid of that one, and that is the Maybelline Caramel Kiss. Even though I don't have much left, I know it is extremely old, and I have not, I have not used it in a very long time. Not once this year anyway, so yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this. Um, those three I will keep. I do have this Models Co. I actually really enjoyed this. I had it in a Shop My Stash, and I really enjoyed it again. It's that colour. What is that colour? <laughs> Um, I think I will, oh gosh, I just, just ruined that. Anyway, I will keep that one. This is Laura Geller in the shade Brilliant. It's a little bit more brown. I think I'm going to keep it. I just, I, I like this nude tone. I just, okay, any more like that? I think this Clinique might be like that. This is the Bear Pop. Yeah, but the Clinique is so nice. I'm just thinking, with all those swatch, do I want to keep this Rosewood from Max Factor? This is extremely old, and it is this one. And it looks a little light, like a little opaque. And I know I have not, I, I know I decluttered this, and then I pulled it from a declutter, and then I never used it. I just there's just too many shades all the same these are all the these are literally all the same shade just maybe one or two notes different um so let's see the project lip in the shade dare i think this is also the same shade although that's way more brown and it's kind of streaky mm. i don't like that I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I got it in a beauty box and I don't like the look of that. So. Um, maybe this one, what is this one? Pure Color Envy Estee Lauder. This might be also another. Actually, no, this one's a little bit darker. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. It's very similar to this one, which now I have no idea what that one was. I think that was the MCO Beauty or was it the Models Co? No, I think it was this one, right? Yeah, yeah, very similar. Okay, all right, I'm definitely gonna keep these two for sure. So I'm gonna put these away. I'm going to get rid of the rosewood because I just don't need it. Clinique I'm keeping, Models Co, Laura Geller, and the Monica I'm all keeping. Okay, these two Lux from Colourpop, I, I'm going to get rid of. 
I tried to work on this one in my one of my projects, um, the color pan. This is in the shade Blissful, and then I have this one, which is in the shade Ticklish. I really like them when I first got them, but I just don't think I'm much of a lip gloss person. And I don't know, I mean, I think this one's probably nicer because it's a little bit more peachy. Do I really want to get rid of this? Because it is quite nice. Uh, it doesn't smell good. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get rid of both of these. Got to be ruthless, got to be ruthless. Okay, these two I'm keeping. These are my lifter glosses. I actually have, uh, I have three of these. Where's the other one? Well, anyway, I'm definitely going to keep all three of them. I don't know where the other one is. I'm missing the shade uh, amber, which, oh no, that's, that's with my browns. With my browns. Where are those? I put them away. Yeah. I'll wait till I go through those, but yeah, these I'm definitely keeping. I really like them and they're pretty new. Okay, let's look at these really vibrant pinks because I'm not, I'm not a fan of this Miss Piggy from Seattle London. It is just it's so pink. Oh my gosh. It's really beautiful though. A part of me really doesn't want to get rid of it because it's really stunning, but I don't know. I don't know if I need this um, and I don't use it. And then I have this W7, this is in the shade Rose Mist. I do like this. I had it in my Shop My Stash recently and it's a little bit more sheer. It actually comes across a little bit more red on my lips and a little bit less pink. So actually I will be keeping that one. And then I've got this MAC one which is completely broken um, and it's very, very pink. And I don't really use it anymore either. Uh, I'll swatch it, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It is a nice colour though. And I really like the MAC formula, but I know it's old. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of the MAC just simply because it's broken. I'll keep Miss Piggy for now. It'll be like uh, those other two pinks that I kept, these two. You know, it'll be for when I actually want a pink lip. I'll have these three to pull and hopefully no more. This one is pretty pink. This is the e.l.f. in the shade Dash of Pink. And I used to really like wearing this color. Huh. I think I will keep this. I, I do have fond memories of it. I'm just wondering, I have a lot of product left as well. Yeah, I think I will keep it. But do I need the Ciate? Oh, I'm gonna keep both of them. I, I, I just don't want to get rid of it, okay. Um, anything else that's very pink? I think this is quite pink. This is the Caramella from Colourpop. Oh, actually no, it's a little bit lighter. It's way lighter actually. This is quite pretty. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one, but I do know I have some more that are that colour to swatch. Let's look at this. This is Candy from Rimmel London. Oh, this is one of these icy ones. And I don't have any more like that, so I will keep that because it's the only one I have left. Um, I do have this Urban Decay in the shade Gub Gubby, which just gives a sheer glossy look. I'm not sure I really like this, but it is Urban Decay, and I kind of want to keep it because of that, which is stupid. Um, any other pinks? These are all very pink down here. This is a really nice nude. This is Tea from Beauty Bay. I really like this one. This one's also broken, but I don't mind because it's a very nude, pretty shade. So I'm keeping that. This one is my L'Oreal in the shade Rose Tendre. I might get rid of this one. I don't know if I kind of want that bubblegum pink anymore. Oh, it smells a bit. I just really like the packaging. I think it's kind of cute. Oh, I don't know. It's really hard. And then I have these two. I'm definitely going to keep this Nomad because it's nice. It has a flip of gold to it. It's really pretty. Um, and I, I would like to keep that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite pretty. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one for sure. This Elf Prismatic Lip Gloss. 
I think I'm gonna get rid of. It's a bit old and I'm I have I'm not using it and I don't need it, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Uh, this one I'm going to keep. This is new to me. It's from Ofra. It is the shade, lip gloss in the shade Myth. And it is just another icy pink. But I think I'll keep, I'll keep it. Because I haven't yet to try it. And I think it would be nice to have that in my collection. So that one is staying. I think I'm doing a very good job. I don't know. And this is just my mauves and my pinks. I still have other categories to go through. Let's look at this one. This is another lippy stick from... Colourpop. Oh no, that is Caramello. No, this one. Let's look at this one. This is Dreamsicle. Okay, so let's look at all my mauves because I have a lot of mauve pinks. Okay, so that's quite pretty. And I do like the lippy stick formula. This is Tea Rose from e.l.f. This is a classic. Had this for a really long time. Very beautiful. So I'm going to probably keep that one. Um, Clinique. I don't think I like this. This is the Love Pop. It's just a little too shiny for me. I always put it on and then I tend to wipe it off. But I keep it because it's Clinique. Oh gosh, you know, that looks very, that looks very pink. Let me just look at this against my other pinks. Yeah, okay. Hold on, let me just, I'm just, I'm just looking to see. Okay, I'm going to keep this one, which is this LA Girl. I know I said I was going to keep it, but I, I will keep it because it's a little bit more magenta. I'm going to get rid of the Clinique though, which is sad. I just don't use it. I don't really like this colour on me. It just never looks good. Um, and I, I barely wear it. So yeah, I will be getting rid of this. And I think I will keep this Seattle London because it is different. And it's a little bit more peachy, so I will keep that actually. So these I already spoke about and I decided I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep these two as well, the T-Rose and um, the Dreamsicle shade, which are these two right here. And then we've just got these to go through, which I'm going to keep my Fenty because I do like it. Uh, this is the shade Fussy. This is nice. And I know I like this one. In the sh uh, this is Real Her in the shade I, de I Decide My Destiny. It's a liquid lip. But it's nice. I do like that. So I'm going to keep that one as well. I think I'm finally going to say goodbye to my last Maybelline Matte Ink Superstay. I'm not going to swatch this because it will never come off. <laughs> but I, I just haven't worn this in a really long time. It's kind of messy. And I know it's very, very old. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then I've got two e.l.f. I'm going to keep this lip plumping gloss because I do enjoy it. And then this Odin's Eye is a liquid lip and this is Perfect Plum. I think this is a little, yeah, this is quite dark. Actually, this is quite brown too. I'm going to keep that. I think it's a bit interesting. And then this is a liquid lipstick. This is the Sheer Matte from e.l.f. And I've never opened it which is shocking. Um, it's in Prawline Petal. I think I will keep that and I'll try to make a point of using that sometime this next year just to see if I like it. Okay, so out of that first category, I am keeping one, two, three, four, lip products and I am decluttering 10, which I think is pretty good. So I literally had 44 right there, which is kind of shocking. Okay, let's move on. All right, so these are all of my red, sort of reddish toned lip products. Um, I definitely will be getting rid of some of these. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of too much because, I mean, I don't need this many red lip products, but I also like quite a lot of these. So I don't wanna get rid of something just for the sake of it. Um, the one that I know straight away I will get rid of is this Lancome right here, which is a shame. Um, it's not because I don't like the colour or anything, it's actually really, really beautiful. It's just, uh, too... It's just too sheer, it leaves streaks, and I think the formula has gone. So this one I'm going to say goodbye. Um, I am going to keep my Nabla, I really like this. This is the shade Fool Me. 
I'm not sure they even have this anymore, but I really like this and I'm gonna keep that. It's a nice and matte. I have another matte one here. This is BD Trade Secrets in the shade Runway. I've had this for a really long time. This is a really nice pinky red. It's very similar actually. It's, a, it's got more sheen to it though than the Nabla. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's look at my red lip bullets. Um, I've got Garnet from Becca, which is a little bit darker, but still has that nice sheen. That one, definitely probably gonna keep. Um, I've got this one from Primark, which is the Powder Luxe um, in the shade Scarlet. This is really nice. Really nice, not dry. Leans quite a lot more orange than the others, so that one is pretty unique. Uh, the only thing is the bullet is a little bit broken, it does pop out, so that sort of uh, annoys me. But other than that, it's fine. Um, I've got this one from Sosie Jackson, this is Te Amo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. This has always been very dry on my lips, even though it's a very pretty red. Oh gosh, it looks so similar to that Primark one. And the Primark one is not that dry. Mm. Okay, so those two are very similar, interesting. Any more bullets? I've got this one, this is from Rimmel London. This is the shade, I think this is the, the shade Kate. This is really dark. It's like a blood, blood red deep blood red. It's very pretty though. So that one I'm going to keep, I think. Um, unless I have something that's similar, because this is pretty old. Out of these, these two would be my oldest so far, definitely in lip products. These were all in the last year or two. And let's look at this. So we've got two of these lip pens. These are very similar. Although the NARS one I think pulls more pink. Um, this is the shade Famous Red and this is pretty but it does have more of a pink to it and then if we look at the nude stick one which is Siren I kind of prefer this one but I can't get myself to get rid of the NARS one. So I think I'm gonna keep both of those. <laughs> yeah, okay, I've decided I'm gonna keep both of those for now. I haven't decided on these yet, I'm just thinking. Um, I've got one NYX here, this is beautiful. This is Antwerp. This is not really a red. It's like that pinky red. They're all kind of leaning towards that. Yeah, this is more of a pink, but I'm going to keep that. Kimchi, this one I'm keeping. This is in the shade Cherry. It's absolutely stunning. It's a, it's a lip gloss, but it's very opaque and beautiful. So definitely keeping that one. Uh, models own, I think I'm gonna keep Candy Cane. I've, I've actually really enjoyed this one. Is this the one I like or is it the other one? So that's Candy Cane, actually. Let's look at this one. This one is very cool. Yeah, I see. I don't have a lot of dark ones like that. That's a true berry color, which I really don't have. So I think I'm gonna keep both of these as well. I'm not doing good with my reds. I thought I'd get rid of more. And then, oh, okay, this one. I can get rid of this one. This is from Laritzi, and I don't like it. It's just a little bit too, uh, why don't I like that? That is nice. Actually, wait, do I like that? It's very similar to this one. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this. And I think I'm gonna retire my Kate because this is just so old and I don't wear this anymore. I have given it a lot. Oops, you can't even see. I have loved it for quite a bit. Um, but those two are very similar. And I think this one looks a little bit nicer. I'm gonna be honest. So yeah, I think I will say goodbye to this one. Okay, and then this butter 
what is this? This is like, this is Physician's Formula. I don't know what this is. It's in Samba Red. It's not really a lip gloss. It's more of a balm. It's very sheer. But I actually went through a journey with it. I was going to declutter it, but then I used it and I really liked it. So I'm going to keep that because I think it's really nice and hydrating. Okay, so out of these, I think the only one I would get rid of is the Sosu Jackson. It's very similar to the Scarlet from Primark. And to be honest, it's just very drying. So I actually am going to get rid of this one. And then I'm going to keep these. So yeah, I got rid of three and I'm keeping one, two, twelve. Not the best, but it could be worse. All right, these are my nudie browns. That's what, how I like to call them. <laughs> and I think this one's going to be very easy because I'm not going to get rid of any of these. I'm just going to put it out there right now. I'm actually really into brown, like nude brown tone lip sticks and lip products and I don't have that many and I don't I don't really want to get rid of any but I will go through them so I've got the smoothie stick uh, for the beauty crop and this is a really nice really nice formula it's nice and soft on the lips it's non-drying and I really like the color I also have this is my other lifted gloss that I was trying to find before this is in the shade amber and this is beautiful I really like this. It's definitely more of that, you know, brown. Oh my gosh, my hand is so stained from all that red. Um, and then I've got this one. This is Bright Papaya from Odin's Eye. This is really nice. And I feel like they're all slightly different from each other too. So that's nice. I like that one. And then this is Odin's Eye. This is the Love Jasmine. And this is beautiful. really love this lipstick. It's very nice. And then I have this, NYX, this is Milky, this is new to me, I just got this in September, and I really like it. So I'm going to keep that, so it leans a little bit more nude, but it does kind of put it in with my browns, because I feel like it deserves to be there. This one sometimes pulls pink, this is a NYX Soft Matte, and it's in the shade Zurich. But I do. No, actually it is pretty nude. Yeah, I like that one. And then this one, I didn't know where to put it, but it's a little bit different from the rest. And it is just an absolute gorgeous brown. So this one I want to keep as well. Yeah. All right, so I'm keeping all of those. They're all pretty different from each other. Uh, it's just a new sort of color shade that I'm really enjoying. All right, so these are all of my uh, peachy, peachy colors, I guess, and um, maybe orangey colors, and I think I could maybe get rid of something, I'm not sure. Uh, this one straight away I'm trying to pan, so I'm not going to get rid of it because I'm very close to finishing it. Actually, I think I will hopefully try to finish it this month, to be honest. I'm, I'm going to call it done very, very soon. Um, I haven't taken the stopper out yet, but I want to do that. This is e.l.f., and it is the Tropical Punch one from the uh, Retro Paradise range. So that one I'm, I'm keeping, but it won't be in my collection too much longer. Okay, so this one, I've got the Maybelline Peach Poppy, which is a very pretty, pretty peach color. Um, so that one is an option. And then I've got the Pink Brandy from Max Factor. And then, I'm not sure I'm going to keep this one, if I'm honest. And I've got this one, which is Jolly Rouge from Clarins. This is very pretty. It's a really nice orange. And then I've got Poppy from Becca. Which, again, quite different. And... Then this one from Revlon, which is in the shade HD Coral. Oh, very similar to this one, actually. Okay. And 
I think I'll talk about these separately. Okay, so out of these, I'm definitely going to get rid of the pink brandy. I'm, I really don't like it. It's, it's not as peachy as the others, so it's not really that exciting to me. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this Revlon. I don't really like it, and I don't really use it. So this one's saying goodbye as well. And I'm going to keep these three because they're all special uh, shades and they're they're a little bit different. This kimchi I'm keeping. This is the peach pink uh, lip gloss and I love it and I'm keeping it. Actually, it probably should be in the nudes. It's, very, it's quite pink, but keeping that one. And this one I'm keeping. This is from Kiko Milano and it is the Holiday Gems. And it's a very sheer uh, balmy balmy formula but I do like it. it reminds me of the gubby formula from Urban Decay it's that same sort of sheer balmy texture this one I'm keeping I think this is a really nice luxe product this is a lip oil from Colourpop it's peachy keen and I really do like this and I like that it gives off a little bit of pigment as well not too much but definitely keeping that one and then this I'm going to keep I'm not a huge, I wasn't a huge fan of these, um, these are the, uh, they have, um, they're so glassy, these are the so glassy lip, lip, lip glosses, and this obviously is from the Hocus Pocus 2 range, and this one is We're Young. I, I need to give it a little bit more time to see if I really enjoy this or not. I don't know if I like it. I didn't give them a very good review, but I'm not ready to part with it yet because I don't think it's fair. So this one I'm going to be keeping. Um, so yeah, out of those, I'm going to get rid of two and I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go through um, liners because I don't have a lot and they're just getting in my way. So I've got this NYX uh, Line Loud in the shade... Stay Stutton, Stay Stutton, Stutting, and it's a red, and I don't have any other reds, and you saw I have a lot of red lipsticks or lip products, so I'm going to keep that, um, and I'm going to keep the other NYX one because I really like it. This one is in the shade Trophy Life. This one I've used a lot more, and I do like it, so it's for all of those Movi shades that I have. So those two I'm definitely keeping. I'm going to keep my BH Cosmetics as well. This is in the shade Earth. Not as fond as this formula, but it's a, a true sort of nude, and I don't have that, so that one I'm keeping. And then between these two, I need to just figure out. I've got an Estee Lauder one, which is the nude shade. And then this is Rimmel London in blushing nude. So I think between these two, I need to figure out which one I want to keep. So that's Estee Lauder. And then this is Rimmel London. <laughs> um, if I'm keeping that one, that one is very similar to both of those. I would say the Estee, let me, hold, hold on, let me just put the Estee Lauder close to this because I think this one's a little bit darker. Actually, it's a little bit more brown. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to get rid of the Estee Lauder one. I don't think it's, the quality is as nice. I don't know, there's something about it that I'm not enjoying. I think it's a little too dark, so I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, so these are all more purpley blue shades. Um, so they're a little bit more unique in my collection. I'm going to keep this Nomad one. I really enjoy it and I was using it in my shop, my stash, but it is a beautiful, beautiful lilac purple. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I'm also going to keep this one because I want to give it a chance. This is from the same range from Nomad. I just haven't worn it, but it is beautiful. So that one, yeah, I'm going to keep as well. Um, same thing with this one because it's new um, I'm going to keep it the same way I kept the other one from Hocus Pocus but you can see it's like one of these dark, dark shades it's it's Boys Will Love Me the So Glassy range um, but I don't really have anything I don't know it's actually kind of ugly I don't know if I want to keep this do I really want to keep this am I going to use it I need to figure out if I can make that work. 
I think I'm going to keep it. If I can't make it work in the next six months, I'll declutter it in the next video. Um, I'm just not ready to part. This is just too new for me and I'm not sure what to do with it. So I'm just going to keep it for now. This one I will get rid of because I kept it thinking I was going to use it for Halloween and I never did. It's the uh, Maybelline Metallic Steel Chic. It's horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible colour and uh, I just don't wear it. Yeah, it's just not for me. That's just not for me. It's like a bronzy, taupey shade and I just don't put that on my lips. So that one is going. Uh, and then these, let's see, do I want to keep these Lux? These are the lip glosses, I, uh, lip oils. I do like the lip oils over the lip glosses from Colourpop. This is Rosebud. Just do a smell test. And then this is Rain Check. I actually like Rain Check. Yeah, I think I will keep both of them, even though they're pretty similar. I'll keep both of those. And then this, I'm going to keep the double glaze from Be Perfect. This is in girl code. And it's a pretty unique color, so I'm gonna keep that because it is a unique shade. And then this one from the Beauty Crop, it's a hydrating lip oil. Have I ever used this? It smells nice. It doesn't actually have any pigment. It smells really nice. I think I will keep it because it smells so nice. Okay, so out of those, I am keeping seven. I'm getting rid of one. Okay, I think this is the last category, which is pretty miscellaneous. These are just all really clear liquid ones. Um, and I think straight away I'm gonna get rid of these Skin and Tonic lip balms right here. This is their old packaging and old uh, formula. And I don't wear these, and I don't really wanna keep them in my collection. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of them. And then I've got these, this Nivea Milk Honey, I'm gonna get rid of, it's pretty gross, so that one's going. And this Estee Lauder Pure Envy, this is a lip volumizer. Yeah, it's kind of a, that, that minty one. I'll keep that. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one as well, the Hocus Pocus is the last one. This is the, obviously the clear one, but it's got that hint of green to it. And this is called Sisters Behold. And again, I just wanna keep it a little bit longer and figure out if I like the So Glassy formula because first impressions, I did not like it at all, but I will keep it for now. And then this lip gloss from Colourpop. Oh, it's a lip oil. This is the Dew Drop. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just think I'll never use it. And so what's the point? I'm gonna get rid of it. And then this from Q&A, Licorice Lip Oil. I'm gonna get rid of as well, I don't like it. And I got it in a beauty box, so I didn't buy it. Cool, so out of those, I'm keeping two and I'm getting rid of four, five, six, seven. Okay, so in total, I'm getting rid of 24 lip products. And I don't even wanna tell you how many I'm keeping. I haven't done a makeup inventory, but I will count everything up. Um, and I will probably post that at the beginning of January when I have all of my numbers. Um, but yeah, I need to go wash my hand. And um, yeah, this is everything I'm getting rid of. I feel, I feel good about it. I don't feel like I've got any regrets at this point. Some of these are just old. I mean, I, I don't really wanna declutter this MAC because I do think the MAC formula is really nice, but it's old, it's not a color that I like, it's broken. You know, there's reasons for me to declutter it. And then all of these luxes I just don't enjoy and I don't use. And then some of these other shades are just kind of a little bit off for me or I don't really wear them anymore. Um, so yeah, I think this is a good cleanse. I think I've kept a lot of nude nude shades, which is going to be an issue because it, I have probably far too many nude shades still left in my collection. Um, but I guess I just didn't want to get rid of everything today. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.